Hey, Bull Station, it has been a long time, so welcome. A very historic day for the franchise. Our new general manager, Mark Eversley. Welcome to the Bulls organization. It's must have been a crazy, what, 72 hours for you? It's been an interesting two weeks, Chuck. Um, first and foremost, thank you. Thank you to Bulls Nation. Thank you to the Bulls family. Thank you to the Reinsdorfs for, uh, you know, giving me this opportunity to work alongside Arturis. Thank you to Arturis. I'm extremely happy to be here. I'm extremely excited to be here, and I can't wait to get to Chicago. Well, have you known Mark for many, many years, folks? You're gonna love him. Mark Eversley is the general manager of the Chicago Bulls. And Mark, we have some Q&A, so let's get to it. This is from Twitter, from the spicy one. How are you enjoying the last dance? So, I don't wanna age myself, but I grew up with the Bulls and Michael Jordan. Um, I think it's a terrific documentary. Um, it brings back a lot of great memories for me uh, and my friends. Uh, we talk about it every Monday morning, um, just to see the passion with which the Bulls played with. That is something that I wanna bring to this team. I wanna bring it back to this city. And I think we've got an opportunity here to get us back to that level. Yeah, and you were off of the jump uh, while you were watching The Last Dance. So it's, it's interesting. I was on the phone with Michael Reinsdorf and you know, it was about seven o'clock, no, it's eight o'clock. And I was thinking maybe we'll talk for 45 minutes, maybe an hour, it'll lead me right up until nine o'clock. Well, we ended up speaking for almost two hours. Wow. So I had to tape the last dance, um, you know, and I started it late. Our tourists ended up starting it late. And as it was, you know, as we were both watching at the same time, he texted me and we had a conversation and like he told people earlier today, he didn't want to wait until Monday morning. And I was the happiest man on Sunday night that he he actually reached out and we were able to come to an agreement. That's awesome. All right, so here is another question from Twitter. Um, how has the definition of success evolved from your time at Nike until now? And how do you aim to cultivate a culture that fosters success here in Chicago? Sure. So, you know, at my time at Nike, obviously working for a global leader, um, you know, I was able to foster a lot of great relationships. Um, it taught me to understand the value of relationships and working with athletes. You know, back then I was working with athletes intimately on footwear and what they needed to succeed to get the most out of their bodies. Um, I've taken those lessons as I've progressed through my career with Philadelphia, with Toronto, with Washington, and really made, uh, you know, it, it my credo to, to really focus in on our players and understand what their needs are what they need to achieve, what they need to, to have success. And I can take those lessons that I've learned in the past and apply them to today. Yes. And just a footnote to that, having seen Mark in action for the last 20 years, you're really good at relationships. It's vital and you're really, really good at developing those relationships by networking. And Mark, here's another question. Uh, what is the most important thing to establish to a winning culture? Um, for me, it starts with winning and losing. And, and I think with it, within that, I'm a winner. I want to win. I want all of our fans to know that we are going to bring a win, winning culture to the Chicago Bulls. I want everybody to know that when they walk into the facility every single day, everybody should be thinking about winning. What is it going to take to put our players in the best position to develop, grow, and ultimately win games? I love it. All right, so uh, Kyle has a question. Have you connected with any of the current players? And uh, did you scout any of them uh, for previous drafts? Sure. You know, this is day one for me. Um, I've not been able to contact any of our players. Um, you know, obviously, I did scout them in college. Um, obviously, most recently, Kobe, um, you know, Wendell, Laurie, obviously, Zach, I think is a terrific talent. Um, I'm looking forward to getting to know them all um, on a level and, and helping them grow as players. All right, uh, we have another question from Twitter. What excited you the most about being the new GM of the Bulls? Well, it's an iconic, um, it's an iconic city. It's an iconic franchise. I think, um, you know, every Sunday night, we all get an opportunity to watch The Last Dance. Um, it's exciting for me to be able to envision us creating that same type of excitement here in the city of Chicago. Let's continue now. Uh, they want to <laughs> bully pulpit, uh, Pod says, Philly cheesesteak or the Chicago Italian beef? 
Chicago Italian beef. Sure. Come on, it's not even a question. <laughs> You're a smart man there, Mark. All right, uh, let's see. What is your message to future free agents? Um, you know, we're here to build a winner. We're here to build sustaining, sustainable winning. Um, you know, we're going to build a culture here that uh, really speaks to growing, you know, championship aspirations. Um, it's a beautiful city. We have a beautiful building. We have a beautiful facility. Um, we've got great fans. Um, you know, we're excited. Um, for any future player who wants to be part of this program, um, just know that we're all about winning. And, you know, that's number one for us. And that's our ultimate goal. Great message. All right. Um, what do you think are the best qualities of your young core, speaking of the Bulls, and uh, how do you build around them? So I think they, they each bring different things to the table. Um, you know, I think, you know, a couple of them can really shoot it well. I think we've got an elite rebounder with Wendell. Um, you know, Zach is a terrific athlete. Um, obviously, he shot the ball from three extremely well last year. You know, Laurie, I'll be interested to get to know him a little bit. You know, he obviously had a little bit of a down year last year, but I have high expectations and hopes for him. Um, you know, there's certainly a lot to like on this roster. I just think we need to supply them with, um, you know, some tools in terms of player development. Um, you know, I really think it's one of our um, expectations that we're going to bring um, to the city when we get to Chicago and, you know, implement a, a really, really strong player development plan. Excellent. Very good. I agree with you, by the way. So uh, what was your favorite part of growing up in Toronto as a kid? It's a great question. Um, you know, my parents did a great job raising me and my brother. Um, you know, they afforded us to play different sports, whether it was baseball, hockey, basketball. Um, we had tons of opportunities growing up. You know, Toronto's much like Chicago. It's four seasons. It's cold in the winter. Um, you know, that's probably one of the biggest reasons why I'm looking forward to come to Chicago because a lot of people compare Toronto to Chicago. So I'm excited. I'm looking forward to coming to Chicago and, you know, bringing my family with me. And by the way, for those watching, I heard from so many people from Canada and Toronto this week, uh, some former employees of the Raptors, some currently with the Raptors organization. They're very, very proud of you, Mark. It has to, to please you knowing that so many people are in your corner. It's um, it, it was really humbling um, this week to, to receive the amount of messages that I got from um, people up in Toronto and people up in Canada. I mean, literally from coast to coast. And, you know, it, it makes you feel proud. It makes you feel like, you know, the work that I've put in over the years is starting to pay off. And I'm very, very appreciative of all the support that I've gotten from everybody up in Canada. Absolutely. All right, here's another question uh, from the SFs Network. How do you feel about the use of analytics in the NBA and how much do you weigh the advanced stats? Sure. Um, you know, analytics, I think, is a wonderful tool. Um, you know, I think it's just that. Um, you know, I'm a basketball purist. I trust my eyes. I trust my gut. Um, I love being in the gym and evaluating talent. Um, I think that analytics has a place in our game. It's certainly become more to the forefront in the last couple of years. And, you know, we've talked internally within the front office about how we can start to utilize it more, um, you know, throughout different facets of our organization. Um, and we're excited about implementing some things going forward. Very good. Uh, what is your preferred style of play? So, you know, coming from Philadelphia, obviously, where we've played fast, um, you know, or tourists coming from Denver, where they've played fast and had success. I think that's one of our shared common um, views is we want to play fast. We want to be able to, you know, get up and down and, and create a little bit of havoc. We want to shoot the three ball well. We want to finish well at the rim. Um, you know, defensively, I think I really like versatile defenders. I want to be able to switch, you know, one to two, two to one, three to four, four to three. And lastly, you know, I'm big on rim protection. I really think you always have to have somebody on the floor who can provide a little bit of rim protection. Um, but yeah, that's the style of play that I like. I think I, I want to play fast. I want to play an exciting brand of basketball that our fans can get behind and, uh, you know, get that United Center rocking again. Yeah, absolutely. I think Bulls fans are already embracing <laughs> this part. They're feeling your passion. I love it. All right, let's go to Facebook. What are your priorities for this upcoming season? So again, I talked a little bit about it. Um, you know, obviously, player development, I think, is, a, is an area that we need to focus in on. 
Um, only having one player development person not currently on staff is, you know, in my eyes, not ideal. I would like to beef up that department. Um, obviously, it's going to take some buy-in from the coaches, players, and it's really for us in the front office to drive that. But I think player development is really an area that I think we can really, really improve in, especially with the limited flexibility that we have uh, this summer. Okay. Well, listen, you've touched on a lot of subjects and we appreciate it. We're looking forward to get to knowing you much, much better throughout, not only prior to the draft, during the draft, and then, of course, the season as well. And uh, we appreciate it. Congratulations. It's a big, big day for the Bulls. Thank you. Thank you, Chuck. Great to see you. Thank you, Bulls fans. Looking forward to getting to Chicago. Thanks so much.